Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So as you see by the title of this video, I'll be doing a get ready with me slash story time video. A lot of you guys have asked for this um, on my Instagram. So I just decided, hey, what not better thing to do while getting ready for the day? I'll talk to you guys. This is new for me. I have not um, even thought about doing this until y'all DM'd me and said like it'd be a good idea. So I appreciate it and I hope you guys enjoy it. But if you want to know about me and Devin's breakup story, just keep watching. My face is already primed. I primed with Tatcha, the liquid silk canvas. Okay, so I have not watched a story time video since I was like in high school, so I hope I'm doing this correctly. <laughs> so a lot of you have asked about Desmond and I's breakup story. A lot of you know about it because I posted it on Instagram and TikTok that we broke up for a short period of time and a lot of you asked me to do a story time. I always have to catch myself and not swipe the beauty blender, just pat it. Desmond and I met when I was 15 and he was 16 and we met in high school but we met through mutual friends on Facebook first who were not at the same high school. So we started talking when we both definitely were not mature enough to be in a relationship and that was quite obvious so i don't know we just got to know each other and i mean it's pretty simple like i can't really stretch that out too much it's just like two kids who are kind of crushing on each other and so i would say that went on for about a year and a half and kind of got to a point where one day we kind of just fell off and it wasn't like an official like hey we've fallen off it was just a gradual just speaking less and less and by the way i'm using my nars concealer here it's, i think it's the nars creamy concealer yeah radiant creamy concealer so yeah, we started just communicating less and less to eventually we didn't talk for like a week, which turned to a month, which turned to two months. And I think it was the two month mark that we were like, okay, not gonna work. I personally was just going through things. It's a chopstick from Honest, by the way. It's a tinted lip balm. So I think I'm pretty much blended to perfection. But let's pause and I wanna just talk about the products I just used. Um, I've already mentioned that I'm using Fenty foundation, I'm using my beauty blender, and then my NARS radiant concealer. Um, I'm about to move on to brows and lashes. These lights are so bright, I can barely look up. Okay, anyways, I'm about to move on to my brows and lashes. So I've also been using this brow serum from Vegamore. If you have not heard of Vegamore, they are a new and very fast growing company that specializes in hair growth for your lashes, for your brows, and for your hair. And I've used all three of their products for hair growth. Um, they have more than three products, but I've, I've used three of them and you guys I'm so impressed so right now I'm using the brow serum um, I usually use it at night and in the mornings but it also works as a good primer which is what I'm using it for right now I don't know if it's intended for that but it works for me so being more is a plant-based hair wellness company so I noticed a little bit of hair loss kind of around the time uh, after I gave birth it's usually called postpartum hair loss so that's what made me decide to go with Vegamore because they specialize in not only treating hair loss but also preventing it. And I did experience a good bit of that. My lashes, my brows, and my hair um, after I gave birth. And as you see, like just growing your brows in general is good, especially whether you wear makeup or not. But for me, I just like my, my brows to naturally look fuller. Um, rather than, you know, always just having to draw on. So ever since um, using the vegan more products, like I've seen a major difference. Hi, you have a visitor. <laughs> you have a visitor bringing food. 
Thank you, babe. That looks great. Oh, good. Glad you. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> so Vegan Wars Vegan, it's plant-based, it's gluten-free. I mean, so many positives. I did so much research before like committing to using the products to help um, with my postpartum hair loss. And I'm just so impressed. Like, look at my brows. Like, I know I have makeup on them now, but they still are full without the makeup. So they also have a lash serum. However, I've only used this in the morning and at night. Um, I don't use it as a primer for my lashes, but that has been great too. I've noticed a huge difference in my lashes. I just love that Vegan More just kind of attacks hair loss the natural way and not with a lot of shady products. So I highly recommend it. Okay, well let's get back to me and Desmond because I know that's what y'all really want to hear about. Okay, so where did I leave off? So after we stopped talking, I'll say two years went by, we both graduated high school, we went to college, blase blase, I'm putting more mascara on. One day, one of Desmond's friends invited him to the beach and one day one of my friends invited me to the beach and it was a huge group going so i mean it wasn't like planned so next thing you know me and my friend go to the beach to meet up with this huge group and look who's there desmond <laughs> desmond 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 he was there and we looked at each other and we were like hello <laughs> i'm so awkward all right, so we're moving on to contour. I'm using Anastasia, um, I don't know. I'll, I'm gonna link everything below because my products are so used that you can barely see the labels. All right, so me and Desmond, we see each other at the beach and it's kind of like love at first sight again. And then a little bit of like a, oh wow, like you're still alive, you know? From there, Desmond, and I exchanged numbers once again, and we started texting, talking, and this is where my favorite part of the story kind of goes. So, he basically knows that I'm kind of like, what's the word, like, hesitant into starting a relationship again, and he um, tells me like, hey, like, let me just take you out, um, let's like just talk you know so we hung out a couple of times with some friends um, then we went to um, dinner at Grand Lux which was my favorite place at the time and um, I come in like we both dress up like <laughs> I don't know we just both dressed up and we walked or I walked in he was already sitting down and um, I just remember like, it was like a spark, like, I don't know, it was just weird. So, we talked a little bit, I don't remember about what, but then he says like, hold on, I need to go get something. And he leaves the table and he goes out to the car, I think, I don't know, but I'm just sitting there like, okay, like, I just assume he's gonna go to the restroom, I don't know, but he comes back with a bouquet of flowers. And I literally said to myself at that moment, like, if we do get back together, like, I already know this is it. Like, this is it. Like, we're probably going to get married. Like, this is it. And by the way, I was like 18 at the time. He's 19. I know it's young, but and I'm not saying I recommend that for everyone, but it just worked out in this case. So, I take the flowers. I'm like floored, you know, and he's like all like, like into it. I don't know. But... All I remember is like by the end of the night we were back together, like by the end of our dinner we were back together and I went home and I remember going and I told my mom, I'm like, yeah, we're probably going to get married, like, <laughs> so um, we continued dating, contouring my nose with the same, um, the same uh, Anastasia, whatever, I'm linking it below, like I said. And I know, like, my makeup is so dirty, guys. I'm a mom. Like, that's no excuse to have dirty makeup, but I'm using it as, using it as an excuse today. So we, um, this story time is getting easier as it goes on. Like, at first I was super nervous, and at first I was like, <sighs> but now it's getting a little bit easier. Okay. 
So we started dating again, going through the process of things, and I would say six months later, we, um, we got engaged. So for that, he took me to a restaurant. We, um, you know what, I'm gonna save that one for another story time. But we got engaged, we got married six months after that. However, I moved to California for a few months for work uh, during our engagement, so I was not here um, during that process. And yeah, I mean, we got married. And four years later, we had kids. If you do the math, I'm 25, Desmond's 26, um, and yeah. I feel like that was very quick. <laughs> I know you guys have asked for the story, but like, it's not that long of a story. Like, it's so simple. We literally just broke up and nobody like cheated on each other and then broke up. Like, it, we just broke up because it wasn't a good fit at the time. And um, we got back at a, a time that was better for us where we were both a little bit more mature. I mean, yeah, we were still young, but we were more mature than we were when we were um, talking the first time. And that, that, that's what it is. All right, so here's blush. KKW Beauty Blush. So my advice, and I've seen a few of you in my DMs ask for advice about breakups. Well, first off, if a breakup happens, evaluate if that's the best thing for you guys. And if it is the best thing, do your best to accept that, move on. Your life is still gonna end up great, I'm sure of it. Um, don't try and be with someone that doesn't wanna be with you. And, you know, that happens at times, and maybe sometimes you're the person that doesn't want to be with the other person, but don't force anything that's not, you know, that's not meant. Or that's just not best for you. Alright, so I'm doing lipstick, but this is my favorite lipstick ever. It's KKW Nude, number five. Um, another thing is when, I don't think Desmond and I regret the breakup because it allowed both of us to grow in many ways apart from each other and that helped make us be good for each other, be our best selves for each other, at least, you know, as much as we could, like everyone, um, everyone can improve no matter what point of life you're in, so I just think it was good for us, and we both agree on that. But I'm glad that we were able to find our way back, and we both are really grateful for that. So right now, um, I just put my um, my Winky Lux brow pencil, which is the same thing that I use on my brows. I just put it under my eyes. So next, I'm going to put on lashes, and I use Ardell lashes. I don't remember the exact ones, but I'll put that below as well. And I'm using Super Strong Hold Eyelash Adhesive that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna put that on here and let it dry. Another thing is like, social media is fun and it's cool and you see the best part of everyone's lives, but always remember that nobody's perfect, so never compare yourself to others. All right, so while that dries, let's put on some highlighter. And, everything is just and I'm using Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. So that's pretty much the end of the story. I mean, this is my first story time, so let me know how I did. I'm not done with my makeup yet, so I'm gonna keep going for a little bit. Just kinda ramble on. I mean, I think these story times get easier as time goes because I don't know why, but it just seems a little awkward. Probably because I just feel like I'm talking to myself. But I hope it helped answer you guys' question. No! <sighs> okay. Anyways, I hope it helped answer you guys' questions and I hope um I hope that it just helps any of you going through that type of situation right now. Just never settle for less. 
than you deserve, but also make sure to be the best you for somebody. It's not all about the other person. You have to focus on how you can be the best person for that person as well. And that can be sometimes a hard thing to look at. Hard thing to detect. I love these lashes because they're not too much, in my opinion, but they're also not too little. Okay, honestly, oh, last thing is my um, Urban Decay setting spray. Long lasting. Let's go. All right, and here's the completed look. All I'm missing is my glasses because I'm blind. All right, guys, so that's the end of story time and my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if I missed anything, if there's any questions you guys have, feel free to comment below um, or just message me on Instagram. Maybe I'll do another one of these in some form or capacity. But thank you guys for all of your support. Thanks for watching. I cannot believe we just hit 150k YouTube subscribers. Like this is huge. Like we are so grateful and we cannot wait to keep making content for you guys. Um, but don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in our next video.